Hey there ladies and gents, today I am bringing you a PU tier match. Uh, for those of you who don't know, PU is the hypothetical tier below NU. It is not supported on any of the simulators, but uh, a ban list does exist because it's just the most used Pokemon in NU. So, um, anyway, my opponent today is Major Maru 912 and I found him on, through the Smog on Wi-Fi Battle Planner. We've actually battled once before in a little cup battle that went up on PMP. Um, but anyway, as you see, he's brought a War Turtle, and for those of you who know the tier list, War Turtle is NU, not PU. Um, now he's like, no, but it's NFE, but NFE is not a tier. This is something I've been trying to get through the Smiling community for a while, uh, to stop listing Pokemon as NFE on their, um, on their Pokedex, because NFE is not a tier! NFE is not a freaking tier, and it just confuses people. Um, like, Munchlax is technically RU, but it is also a not fully evolved Pokemon. Chansey, not fully evolved. Um, da! Okay, anyway. So, uh, I said, you know, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry about it. But truth be told, and I'm going to be a little bit whiny in this battle, it really didn't matter that he brought the War Turtle, because there are no good spinners in NU. I think the best you can do is, like, Tentacool. Um, but anyway, so I've, got, I've made a few changes to this team, because I realized that Natsu was really sucking. Um... Yeah, by the way, so the last time I had a PU match was like two PUs ago, and I was all upset because by the time I'd uploaded that battle, Lanoon had gone up to NU, but since then it's dropped down and stayed down, so it really wasn't an issue. I'm glad the camera finally dropped, but anyway, um, in this battle, whole lot of switching going on, uh, not much else. Uh, he's got this Murkrow out, and it goes for the Dark Pulse, and I, I was actually a little bit surprised. Uh, I mean, the only Murkrows I've ever seen are in Little Cup, and never seen a special attacker, but anyway, um, I was just glad that I taunted it because Prankster, Murkrow, not fun to deal with. Um, unfortunately, he's able to take out, I, I, I basically sacrifice Marina, my uh, shiny camera up to do so cute. Um, but yeah, so anyway, now I'm hoping that I can take out, uh, take this guy out because I'm hoping that he's not going to go for a Dark Pulse. Um, and indeed, it looks like he's just trying to roost up and not attack. I mean, I'm faster anyway, so if he attacks, he'd die. Uh, but I'm just hoping to take it out. Now he's he's basically life orb stalling me here, but I have a strategy. Uh, so I get the par I get the process, which is nice, um, but really not needed. Uh, I go for focus blast here, expecting him to roost. Uh, he doesn't roost. I guess he just wanted out to trade for the attack. I'm really lucky that focus blast didn't miss, and I take out Murkrow. So that is fantastic. Uh, we are it's five five right now. Things are going pretty well. Um, Anyway, wasn't sure whether uh, who outsped there. I think he must be Scarfed. Um, so anyway, I went for Focus Blast. He went for U-Turn. Uh, we both miss. And I am glad that I was able to switch out into someone else. Starbuck, my Scarf Waylord, is just going to take the U-Turn. And it's going to do a fair amount of damage. It's going to mean that I can't really use Water Spout that well anymore. I mean, I have Water Spout and Surf, and I think at this point it's kind of a wash as to which has more base power. Which means go for Surfies as more um, base power uh, and has more PP. Anyway, go for the Ice Beam, predicting the switch. I think I no, I don't predict the switch um, because this is the next turn. Anyway, I was kind of expecting Ice Beam to do a little bit more. It does not, and Giga Drain. Actually, I was expecting him to predict my switch and not go for Giga Drain. I was kind of trying to scout out the set, maybe go for Lead Seed, maybe something like that. But yeah, this uh, <coughs> this Meganium is a monster. Anyway, gonna go out into Hermes. Hermes should be able to tank whatever he can do. He goes for Toxic. That's not great. Um, Hermes, by the way, has no attacking moves. Uh, this is a... Uh, by the way, I love the fact that it's shiny. Uh, that was a really fun RNG thing to do. RNG is so damn easy in Gen 5. Um, but anyway, what I'm doing... Okay, I'm setting up screens. This is a dual screener. The idea is to support uh, my little tiny Lanoon uh, so it can get off a belly drum and sweep. And now he's got the Laron on his team, but I do have the Seed Bomb specifically for Steel types like Laron. Um, or Steel Rock, Steel Ground. Um, yeah, Head Smash ain't doing jack after a Reflect. And I'm actually staying in, going for the Leech Seed. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm wanting him to take me out, because if he takes me out, then I get the free switch. But at this point, I'm like, eh, you know, my health is high enough. Uh, I can really just go ahead and switch out into uh, Lanoon whenever I want, and uh, then maybe I can set up screens later or do more leech seeding later. So I go out actually into Fraggle, um, because I don't want, I mean, even with the Reflect up, I don't want um, Lanoon to take a head smash. Um, so here I just am going to go for the Fire Fang as he withdraws Laron goes out into his War Turtle, and here's really where all this stuff matters because I've got rocks up. 
Um, I go for the fire thing. Uh, it survives. Now, I actually forgot that I wasn't banded here, which is why I switch out. I really should have just gone for the uh, outrage, I guess. I mean, I, I, that brain, uh, fire thing might have actually done it, but he's able to rapid spin. And so that's that sucks already. And now I'm going to go for a bell drum, and they're like, oh, why is he staying in? Oh, that's not good. Is he going to go for a scald? But I'm thinking, oh, the chances, you know, two and three, and even burned, you know, that's still two X attack. That should be pretty awesome. Oh, yeah, by the way, Salak Berry, thanks, uh, Gen 5, uh, or Black and White 2. But anyway, he goes for Yawn, and that's going to completely screw me over. I can't switch out because, um, you know, I've already gotten off a of Bell Drum. I can't Belly Drum again, so now I'm put to sleep, and I am freaking screwed unless I'm able to get a first turn wake up. So, yeah, War Turtle deserves to be NU, not PU, and it really screwed me over that he had. Uh, a war turtle on his team, but you know, that's just me being a little bit of a whiny bastard. So anyway, don't get the first turn wake up. He wisely just goes for the Giga Drain, takes me out. That's too bad. I go out into Aramaki, expecting him to switch out here, go for the nasty plot uh, to get my attack through the roof. Uh, he goes for Toxic. Why the hell not? Um, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, yeah, it's... I this I really wish I could play test with this team a little bit more because um, you know I'm not sure that my sets are really good. Uh, Aramaki is not actually able to take him out, um, but you know he's not going to be doing too much with Giga Drain, and I'm hoping. Yeah, so I've basically got just enough health to survive two more turns um, before Life Orb and Poison Recoil. Actually, actually with Poison Recoil, this is going to be my last turn no matter what. He's going to withdraw. Uh, I think I just go for the. Um, I think I just go for the Psy Shock, uh, not the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt might have actually, I don't know if it would have KO'd, but it would have done a bit more damage than that. So, Armaki's going to die to Life Orb Recoil, and yeah, I've been told that Mr. Mon is not the greatest Pokemon in, NU, or in PU, but I don't know. Um, uh, anyway, I've got 35 health left. I'm going to go for Surf, uh, and I'm going to take out Leon. So, that's nice that he didn't try to switch out. Uh, but, yeah, so now he's going to go ahead and send back out his Meganium. I figure, yeah, go for the Giga Drain, take me out, I don't care, I've got 35 HP, you're not going to be regaining too much. Um, and on the off chance he does something stupid like Toxic, I'm in a good situation. So he Toxics, I have one more turn before I die, and I'm thinking he's... Uh, I'm not sure that I can take out his Meganium, but I can sure as hell try. So, gonna go for a Surf, I'm thinking I'll leave him at least pretty low, and that'll be nice. Um... I, that was a crit. Crit mattered. Down goes Meganium. I am not even sorry. Uh, so now I've got two Pokemon left. I've got my uh, Superior, and I've got my uh, my Zuelus. So I'm going to go out into Superior, just going to try to set up um, either a, set up a Reflect, but he's his, um, whatchamacallit, uh, his Raticate is faster, is going to take me out, and so now I know that this is GG, because his U-turn... I mean, even with Eviolite, I don't think Zuelus can take um, a U-turn. Uh, I mean, my only hope is that he misses here, uh, and also that his um, Guts uh, Luxray doesn't have Ice Fang. His Guts Luxray does have Ice Fang. Like, ah! I survive. That's good. I go for Outrage. It misses. God damn it. This is the second time in a row. Like, this happened the last time I had a PU battle. But, oh well. I'm going to die to hacks. Um, not that I could have won even without the hacks. Great game, Major Maru. Sorry I'm complaining about your war turtle. But, yeah. I mean, NFE is not a tier. Uh, 